Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to the JavaScript complete course. In this video, we are going to learn the add event listener method in JavaScript. So before jumping over to the main point, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so you'll get the notification of my new video when I upload them. Alright, so let's get started. In JavaScript 11th uh, tutorial, we learned uh, events. If you don't watch that video, the link is in the description, you can watch that video and in that video we learn the use of event uh, you can add an event like uh, for example uh, you can see on the screen first you're going to say button create a button and inside the button you have you're gonna specify the event which is which here i specified like uh, on click so whenever i click the button the user click on the button the method abc which is inside the double quotation will called and uh, let's suppose uh, if you want to click image like when you over the image cursor over the cursor on image this uh, method xyz will be called but here we have an issue uh, that whenever we want to call a new function we need to jump over to the html page and type uh, this inline code again and again this will make our html page very lengthy so why we separate our javascript code from html page for this we need to use another ways to do this uh, so here we have a uh, two ways for using the event in javascript first we're going to use a document dot get element by id a method that we have learned in our previous video and inside the double code x inside the opening and closing parentheses we are, we are going to pass the name of the id or class or tag whatever you want to target and after that we are going to use the on click event and in and after the equal sign we are going to specify the name of the function that we want to call so now let's jump over to the source code and let's practice this so here i have an, uh, I'm a, a web page that we are going to use in our uh, previous uh, uh, videos and now what we are going to do we are going to jump over to the javascript and there we are going to practice our code so this is the javascript file here what i'm going to do first i'm going to target the document dot get element by id and inside the opening closing parentheses inside the quotation I'm going to target one of the IDs of my uh, HTML page. So I'm going to target this main header. Let me find this. Here we go, heading. And let's copy this. And let's paste it here. So here I have target the ID. And then I'm going to specify the event, which is on, on click equal to ABC function. So whenever the user click on this head section on this header the um, this abc method will be called so le now let's create this abc method so let's create function a b and c so here what we want to do we want to style so whenever the user click on this uh, header that this will take a let's suppose green background so for styling we are going to say style dot first we are not going to pass the parentheses and we are going to pass the color inside the double quotation so now when we save this now when we click on this uh, main header the background color will change so this is the new way of event that you can assign the value of a function inside there so now uh, not only the on click uh, event we can use here we can use or uh, another event as well like we're going to say on mouse enter so when i save this so whenever i over the cursor on this main header uh, the background color will change let, as you can see let me refresh the page again and when i over the cursor the background color will change and now we're going to talk about the second way which is uh, dom add event listener method so here uh, you can do the same thing uh, like a uh, document or get element by id you can use the name uh, the class name or the tag or even uh, and or, or 
also you can specify the id name inside the opening closing parenthesis and after that we are going to instead of uh, or the name of the event we are going to say add event listener method we're going to call the add event miss uh, add event listener method and after that open, opening and closing parentheses here we are going to specify two uh, parameters basically the add event listener has uh, three parameters but now we are going to talk about only two parameters first you're going to inside the uh, double quotation you are going to uh, specify the event that you want to uh, use in this uh, method uh, but uh, here you just need to uh, specify the name of the event like click or mouse enter uh, here we don't here we are not going to use the on uh, before the click or before any other uh, earn that we use like on click or on mouse enter or on db like something like this we here we are only specify the on click like uh, mouse enter and something like that so, and after that we are going to specify the name of the fun uh, function and if you don't want to spe specify the name of the function no matter you need to create the function inside this uh, opening and closing parenthesis like this here you can see you can specify the specify the name of the element that you want to target and after that add event listener and event and inside here you are going to specify the you uh, you are going to specify your function but here you don't need to uh, give the name for your function inside the, this curly braces you are going to specify your statement inside here so now let's jump over to this code and let's practice this as well so here I'm instead of this on mouse enter I'm going to remove this and here I'm going to use the add event listener method and after that inside uh, I'm going to use open and closing parenthesis I'm going to remove the name of the function from outside this parenthesis and here I'm going to specify first uh, the event here I'm not going to specify on click I'm not going to specify the on because here I'm going to use the add event listener method and after that I'm going to uh, call the function that I have created here and when I save this and when I click on this header see the background will change and uh, you can also use another event like mouse enter and remember don't use to uh, don't use on mouse enter because we are going to if you are using the add event listener so now let's save this and when we over the cursor see let me refresh the page again and when i over the cursor see the background will change so as i mentioned before that this uh, add event listener uh, method is very uh, popular or very useful in javascript nowadays because here we can use multiple events and not only one event uh, for any uh, element that we are going to target in so now let me w do this for you let's use the multiple events here so i'm going to copy this let me paste it here and here i'm going to say click click and i'm go not going to use this method i'm going to use the uh, uh, create a new method inside the this opening closing parenthesis so that you will learn the second way of this add event listener method so for this we are going to use function say function and we don't need the name of the function here and you can see i'm not going to pass any name of the function and here what i'm going to say i'm going to target this or excuse me copy this from here and let's paste it inside this function so here i'm going to instead of this background we i'm going to say border border so the border will be 10 px solid red now let's save this here we go 
So this was the first way that we have created. And this is the second way of the add event listener. We are going to uh, create a function inside this open and closing parenthesis and, and we are go not going to specify any name of the function here. And uh, inside the function, I'm going to say whenever the, let me refresh this. So whenever I click on the uh, this targeted element, the bar border should be changed. So now let's over the cursor into the main header. So when I over the cursor, see the first ABC method is called. So when I click here, see the second function is also called. So this is the way of uh, adding multiple events in your single element. So this is only possible by using the add event listener. You can use multiple events for a single element. So as we uh, learn about event and function, the add event listener has a third uh, parameter as well, which is use capture. And the use capture parameter has two values, true and false. Uh, let's suppose you have two divs that you can see on the screen and you want to add a click event in both of these divs so what will happen whenever you click in inner div that the changes will happen into outer div as well or if you want to run the outer div first then run the inner div uh, or if you want to the opposite action of this if you want to uh, first run the inner div then run the outer div for this we have a true or false uh, here you can see and now let's uh, do this in uh, code section and we will check how can we do this by using code so as you can see on the screen on the right side here I have created uh, two divs which is inner and outer and inside the HTML so now what I'm going to do uh, first I'm going to use the add event listener without use capture attribute so first what I'm going to do I'm going to say document dot get element by ID and let me check whether it is ID or so here we have a class div class outer and inner so instead of after that we are going to say add add event listener and here we are going to uh, first we are going to pass the event that we want to uh, use for this uh, outer div so this one will be click and uh, here we are going to pass the function and we are going to pass the alerts here so the alerts will be outer div that's it and we are going uh, so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this for inner div paste it here so this one will be inner div so here what I did what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, pass the uh, click event for both of these so whenever I click get elements by class name we are going to say query query selector and here we are going to pass the CSS selector and also I'm going to copy this from here and let's paste it here and I'm going to pass the CSS selector here as well so when I save this and when I click see first the message will be inner div so whenever, whenever I click OK the out outer div will automatically print here so here we didn't use the uh, use capture uh, attribute here uh, I just want to show you the uh, use of this without uh, use capture attribute so as you can see whenever I click it will pop up some message that inner div and when I click OK the outer div will automatically print it here or if I use let's me you let me use the uh, use capture attribute uh, parameter after this open and closing for curly braces I'm going to pass the comma and here I'm going to pass the use capture uh, uh, parameter which is true 
and also I'm going to pass the through here as well so when I save this and now when I click the first message will be outer div and when I click OK the second one will be automatically the inner div and when I print the false which is the default value false it will first uh, pop up some message inner div and then when we click it will print outer div here so here we learn two ways of using the javascript event first create creating external uh, function and the second way is creating function inside the add event listener uh, method and now here we have the third way of using the this by using the uh, remove event listener uh, le listener so let's suppose you add an event into the div and you want to change it in the function without adding any changes into the source code you can use the third way which is uh, remove event listener so here we're going to pass the element like get element by id or get element by class name and then we are going to use the uh, remove event listener after that we are going to add the event which uh, which means that by which event you want to remove this uh, event like on double click on mo mouse enter or click after that we are going to specify the name of the function so now let's do this by using the source code and we will uh, see the real example of this now let's uh, remove this everything from here and we are going to type this from scratch document.get elements by class excuse me we are going to target this uh, main header so let's check what is this whether it is id or class it is on the top it is id so i'm going to target get el say get element by id and here i'm going to target heading heading and after that i'm going to add add event add event listener and here i'm going to add the mouse leave event and after that i'm going to specify the function that i'm going to create at the bottom and here what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this from here let me copy here and i'm going to paste it here and instead of this mouse leave i'm going to specify the click event and after that i'm going to specify the another function that i'm going to create and now first i'm going to create the abc function and here i'm going to say document dot get element by id and here i'm going to specify the id which is heading and here i'm going to add the style background st style background will be equal to green that's it and after that i'm going to copy this from here and let's paste it at the bottom and then i'm going to change the name of the function by x y and z and uh, instead of this style i'm going to specify the dot remove event listener remove event listener that's it all right so i have made a mistake spelling mistake here an event let me remove this from here event listener so here inside the opening and close closing parenthesis we are going to specify the name of the event and after that the function of that uh, event so i'm going to uh, remove the mouse leave event so here i'm going to specify the name of the mouse leave and after that i'm going to specify the abc function which is the function of this 
color so I'm going to remove this color by this remove event listener so a b and c that's it and now let's save this so whenever I leave the mouse the background will changes will happen but when I refresh the page and now when I click on this uh, heading and when I leave the uh, remove the cursor from there nothing will happen you can see first when I uh, over the cursor this method uh, this method will call called and add the background color to green see but when I click on this uh, heading this remove uh, add event listener will, uh, the, or this XYZ function will called let me refresh this again and when I click here see nothing is happening but when I refresh this again and when I leave the mouse see the background will the background changes will have it but when I click see nothing is happening here so hope you understand until this point if you have any question any suggestion please leave the comment below if you didn't subscribe my youtube channel make sure to subscribe this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my new video when I upload it.